Hello. <clears throat> it's Carrie Cordy. It's been however many days since I last made that video. It is Friday, September 16th. And God, it's I made a video as I was walking through my house for the last time and I was sobbing. I was sobbing the whole time. And it just cuz it hit me, you know, my Neighbors saw a boy move in, but they saw a woman move out, and that was a big thing for me. I transitioned there, and even though I'm still in transition, that was a big thing, because, like, the bedroom, when I went in there and, and did the last look at it, you know, that was the truly the first safe place I had to sleep. And it really didn't hit me until I was leaving that room. You know, what a strange feeling to realize you haven't felt safe sleeping. You know, that's why I keep waking up. Um, the last night I was there, I, I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning and I made a video. And I basically started my day then. You know, I took a nap a little bit later. And, you know, it was a whirlwind of a couple of days, emotionally more than physically, because I could only handle so much. And I will show some of the videos that I've been making the last couple of days, but for one reason or another, I'm not just going to play them because there's so, a little bit of editing that needs to be done or that I would like to do before showing them. But um, i just not really in the mood to do that now. But I have so much there that really that needs to be gone through and you know I'm not the kind of person that's gonna sit here and organize everything and you know do an outline because that's not the point of this the point of this is emotional not you know logical or technical and that kind of thing has its place and I'm trying to find where it's appropriate to be emotional and logical more so one than the other and it's an interesting lesson to be learning as, as you go through life anyway I think I'll cut to a video um, I want to show one of the recent ones I'm not sure which one I will do um, I tried watching the one where I walked through the house but it was still I can't watch that one yet um, Anyway, I'll make up a decision, see what I'll show here, but I'll cut, and then... Hello, it's Carrie Cordy. Um, it's a little after 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, this is, you know, the last night in my place. Um, I moved in here September 1st. 2015 and now what is it uh, <laughs> September 14th 2016 so I've lived here you know over a year and the place is really clean um, I hope I'm getting my deposit back the place is rented the person is going to be moving in tomorrow um, yeah, when the property manager came look through here, when I gave my notice, he was surprised by how nice it looked. Um, God, something stupid occurs to me. <laughs> you keep the place nice, you have a messy life. Ah, it's never one thing. God. Um. Oh. Yeah, that's going tomorrow. I don't have anything to wear for it. It's just a base. I've had that for a long time. Um, I'm okay. I just don't play it. Um, the thing about there in the shadows is my first guitar you can't see. I'll probably get rid of that too. I never thought I would. But I just don't have the space. I don't have the time. And honestly, I could have taken the time. I really could have. But... I don't know, isn't it more important sometimes to 
Oh god, I shouldn't be doing, you know, all crazy corner shot. Um, I don't know, you know, when I get down, I, it's hard to do anything, and, you know, I've been smoking a lot lately, and the cigarettes aren't satisfying, you know, not like they used to be, or sometimes they are. But, you know, it's just something to do, because even breathing just sucks. And this way, at least, I know I'm breathing. But it's the constant smoking, and with my voice, smoking does not help. And I've been smoking so much more than normal. So much more. I only really turn on my TV here for light. I've been really kind of laying, trying to get comfortable for a couple hours. Went to bed at 9, woke up at 1. Um, I'm tired, but when I don't have a bed to sleep on or anything regular, my, my sleep gets cut in half. Uh, I have problems sleeping for more... I tell people for more than two hours, but realistically, it's more like an hour, an hour and a half. And then I wake up, and the only times I ever, I think I ever get full nights of sleep is when I was, you know, passed out drunk. Even sleeping pills with me, they'll work once, once, and that's it. It doesn't matter if I take like a double or triple dose the second time or third when I'm desperate for sleep. Doesn't work. Medication's always been like that with me. Such as Novocaine. You know, I, my dentist I went to as a child. Um, you know, he retired when I was around high school age and I needed a root canal. So, um... And when I got Novocaine, my lips would go numb, but I could still feel everything in my teeth. And so the doctor always knew this, because I would just white knuckle it on the, in the chair. And so one day, he just comes in, he's like, you know, Sam, do you, do you want to try this root canal without any anesthetic? And he may have been joking or not, but I said, sure. Let's do it. And he gave me a root canal without any anesthetic at all. Nothing. And it wasn't bad. You know, it felt just like getting a tooth drilled to me. And that's just another example of, I don't know, the shit life throws at people and you just move on. Um, the video I made a couple of days ago that was just a couple of seconds, well, 44 seconds if I remember right, um, God, what a bad day, it wasn't suicidal bad, but there were several people in my life, a couple of real close friends that just wouldn't let my one or two answers go. One or two word answers. I kind of do that sometimes. Leave out a word or two. Um, yeah, and they called me over the phone. I wouldn't answer. They text. I respond. But you know, you know, they wouldn't let me go. I like that. It's exactly what I needed. And you know, I wouldn't have killed myself. But like I told a friend, you know, if somebody stuck a gun in my face the other night, I wouldn't have stopped him pulling the trigger. I probably would have told her to do it. Um, but, you know, I only say that to express the honesty behind the bad moods, you know, because I don't like it when somebody you love, you can tell they're going through hell, it's like, what's wrong? Oh, nothing, just, you know, shit. You know, how, I don't know, would the world be better if it was easier just to, or acceptable 
to just come right out with anybody and just say, you know, what you're going through and put it in blunt, horrible fucking terms. And for me, you know what? Maybe I'm different. That kind of helps sometimes. I don't get lost in the whole toilet thinking like it would look like. And I think that's where people kind of misunderstand me is, you know, I had a doctor once when I was in the hospital last year for suicide ideation. And after a few days, he said, you know, with the, some of the stuff you say, it coming from anybody else, it would worry me. But from you, it, it seems to give you a strength. It's a, you look at it as a positive thing. You use it as a positive thing. And he, and he said, you know, that's really unusual. And, you know, I guess it's one of the ways that, one of the reasons I'm really, really funny. One of these days I'll start telling my jokes and I've been working on a stand-up routine. And, um, I don't know, my favorite comedian right now is Bill Burr. God, I love him to death. But I want to go shopping with his wife. Yeah, I don't know. If you know who Bill Burr is, it's, he's, God, he's just, just I, he's not stupid. He says he is sometimes. But the thing is, he's not, you can't have a perspective like that and turn just horrible shit into just some of the funniest fucking things. That's the power of life. I don't know, maybe that's why I turned this on. I was just kind of laying here trying to get comfy. And it's like, you know, I'm not sleeping. I guess I'll get up, take a shower. I shouldn't, but I might smoke a cigarette. Three in the morning, my day's begun. About it for today. You know, it's it feels good to be out of that place. It was really good. I loved it, but I was ready to move on. And I am, I'm moving on, and it feels so good. And the material purge that I went through was really necessary. Um, there were so many things from the past that I just needed to get away from. And, you know, like for instance, from high school, I had the, the most improved boy diver award that I've kept framed all this time. And I looked at that, and it had my birth name on it, and of course, boy. Oh, it's like, I'm ready to move on. And there was a lot of stuff from my past like that, that there was no real emotional need to keep that stuff anymore. So that's really it for today. Bye.